Oh. Okay, let me... Okay. Can you hear uh, James walking around? Okay, so he's walking around right now. Didn't notice until you started walking. Okay, you can hear him walking now, right? Now, okay, so you can hear now? Okay, so all good. Okay, cool. I can turn on the game audio. Get some water. Look, I'm a speedrunner like Nub Zombie. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Maybe I should change the light themes. Maybe I should make them all green. Maybe I should. But right now I can't change them. Yes, how's everyone's night been going so far? How's work for y'all? Except for John, who's been, you know, in bed. I need to really watch Stranger Things. I've always heard good things about that show. And, uh, John, did you watch Stranger Things? The color works well. Okay, cool. Stranger Things is amazing. Yeah, I heard good things about that game. Looking good, coffee. Don't forget to hydrate, coffee. Oh, hey, <laughs> hey, Globe. Yep, I got some water. Thanks for the reminding you, though. Thanks for reminding me. But yeah, how's it going, Globe? What are you? What have you been up to today? We get to meet Angela. <laughs> You're funny, Excuse Globe. Me. I... Oh, I'm, Excuse me. I'm sorry. I, I... Oh, it's I just... okay. I... I didn't mean to scare you. Oh, it's okay. Lost. I'm lost. I'm lost. <laughs> I like the way she says lost. Lost? Lost? Yeah. I'm looking for Silent Hill. Is this the right way? Um, is this the yeah. Right way? It's hard to see with this yeah. fog, but... 
There's only the one road. You can't miss it. There's only the one road. Thanks. You can't miss it. But yes. But I think you'd better yes? stay away. I think you'd better yes? stay away. This uh this th this town there's something town, wrong with it. There's something it's wrong. It's kind of hard to explain, but is it dangerous? Is it dangerous? And it's not just the fog either. Okay. It's I got it. Either. I'll be careful. Okay. It's I got it. I'm not lying. Okay. No, not I believe lying. you. No, it's just. I, believe you. I guess no, I really don't care if it's dangerous or not. I really don't care. I'm going to town either way. I'm going to town either way. But why? But why? I'm looking for someone. I'm looking for someone. Who is it? Someone. Who is it? Someone very important. Have you played this game before, Globe? I'd do anything if I could be with her again. I'd do anything if I could be with her again. I'm looking for my mama. I mean my mother. It's been so long since I've seen her. It's been so long since I've seen her. It's been so long since I've seen her. I thought my father and brother were here, but I thought my father and brother were here. I can't find them either. I can't find them either. I'm sorry. It's not your problem. <clears throat> I don't no, mind them. Have you played this yeah, game before, Globe? I think it's this way. Crap, I don't know for sure. There's Eddie's <laughs> Eddie's van. <laughs> That's Eddie's man. So it's like that that that's the exact same model you'll see throughout the game, this white van. And it's supposedly Eddie's van. I'm so glad I can play video games like this again. Wow, you really can see Jack Nicholson. Like, there's a way for me to zoom in. I forgot. But whenever Nub was talking about this game, he's talking about the poster here, and it's supposed to be a um, 
And uh, the poster is actually a poster of the Jack Nicholson from The Shining. It's pretty cool. That's so cool. I never noticed that until you pointed it out. any other weird things I've never noticed about this game. Nothing weird, nothing too strange yet. But the but the cr cracks are all like pretty looks like they've been copied over and over. I never noticed that until now. Man, you really don't notice these things until you play the game like later on in life. Why would you turn left? Oh, maybe the road's about to turn left. The road runner. Man, there's so many details you don't notice when you first play the game. Now and then after playing the game so many times you notice all these details you never saw. And there's that same truck. Man, they really you know when you really pay attention to uh, and look at the game, you really pay attention to you see a lot of details you never notice. Like this is the same truck I saw from earlier in the game. Sound Hill Farm. Sanders and Wilts. Here comes the part with the we'll see. What does that say? Oh man, what does that say? I don't know. It says like, oh, I can't read the writing. It's something hour parking. Maybe like at least two hour parking or something. Nine to six, nine a.m. to six p.m. Man, there's so much attention to detail with this game. I never realized that. Wow, so much attention to detail. Makes me love the game even more. Eddie's van. Did I go? No, I'm, I'm going the right way. I think so. What's he looking at? Oh, is it a health drink? Yeah, it's a health drink. I knew it.
going to try to play this game without looking at a fact much. I'm going to try my best. I might not remember everything, but I'll try. I don't know what compels him to go here. I'll have to ask Nub why he, James is so compelled to go to this area. I mean, I know the, I know the blood stains like draw you, but still, why go follow the blood? This thing broken? This thing's broken? This thing's broken? What the? What the? I better take it anyway. I might need it. Better take it anyway. I might need it. Better take it anyway. See if I remember what everything based on like watching people play Silent Hill 2. Hopefully I'll remember everything. Oh no! Shit. I walked right into him. My house not even perfect. Let's see. Yeah, it's not. Oh well.
Good old wooden plank. I think it's windy. away from me. Oh, I think I'm, I think this is the area where maybe. It makes you question why James would actually pick up these health drinks where he doesn't even know where they came from. It's a really fucked up world. And as you can see, this is actually a, uh, supposedly this is a, the same exact model as James, I think. Except it, and it's all like modified to look like someone else. So, so, so if you look at this after watching Nub Zombie play, you know, explain the game so much, it's supposed to be another, the same model as James, except it's modified to look like someone else. It does look, it does look similar. I noticed that. Oh shit! I should go to Neely's bar. Yeah. Let's go to Neely's bar. There's like no one around. So silly. This game's so silly. Why do they have crosswalks? There's no one's having this walker wait. scare me, I'll just surprise. I think I'm I think Neely's bar is a place with a hole reference. Oh, what are you looking at James? What are you looking at? Door that wakes and oh hey he's fucking stupid roach, fuck you, hey fuck you I'm gonna kill you, you come back here roach, come get the fuck back here I'm gonna kill you fucking roach there, don't you dare bite my shoe. Yeah don't you, 
Yeah, you, you got you, uh, you got a taste of my shoe. Don't you dare fucking bite me and bite my shoe again. The door is blocked. I can't go any further this way. Oh, what did he say? Oh man. He said something else. The door that wakes in darkness. Opening into nightmare. I'm just playing just by my memory alone of, of uh, countless times I've played this game and 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 watching Nub Zombie play. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna remember too much, but but we'll see. at Sports Injury Center. That makes sense. Gozo Sushi. Tush sushi, Tempura, Teriyaki, and Udon. Wow, I never really paid attention. Oh my god, really? Man, you never... I, you really don't uh, notice these things until you really start paying attention to the, the surroundings. I never noticed that there was a sushi restaurant here. Oh, get away from me! Don't spray your shit on me. On me. Don't... Say it, don't spray it. Okay, so... Say it, don't spray it. i never been in this area before. Oh, and here's the trailer. There's a memo lying on the sofa. I'll wait at Bar Neely's. Yeah, and that's where it tells you to go to Neely's Bar. I copied it onto my own map. Hey Sue, no Rogue Galaxy Sue. I'm actually gonna um, play a survival horror game for once, and it's, it's one of my most favorite uh, survival horror games of all time. It's uh, Sun Hill 2. But yeah, thanks for coming by and and seeing me play. And as you can see, uh, now that you, uh, now that you came came at a good time, you, you can see my my uh, my lights, my uh, my color my smart lights. I want to show off my smart lights, cause, but then there weren't that many people coming into my stream at this time. So now that there's people coming in, they can see my lights, and, uh, and I'm hoping the lights do fit the theme of this game. I do actually used to have a copy of Rogue Galaxy, but I don't have it anymore. This game is so... oh man. This bring, game just brings back memories. Oh, another health drink. So we're going to bar Neely's and then we'll show you the infamous whole message that uh, this game is known for. I got, I got sprayed, sprayed again. Hopefully, hopefully my health is okay. So, where is... Ooh, wait. Anyway, um, let's see. I think I'm. Oh yeah, Neil is bars right, right there. I've never played a Sand Hill. You never played it. You're missing out. I love this. I love the series. It's really. It just. It's very captivating to, for me because it really made up a good uh, chunk of my childhood. Let's see, Bar Neely's. So we're gonna enter Bar uh, Neely's bar, and 
You're running, and then it's and, and here's uh, the most famous part of the of the bar. Uh, hold on, let me let me get the map right here. This isn't the most famous part yet. Oh, and this tells you where to go. Oh, right, right. I've already been to all these places. Okay. What side of play? Okay. I typically don't play horror games. Yeah, is it because... Uh, why do you not play them? Is, it, is there a reason why? Uh, here's, here's the famous hole message. There was a hole here. It's gone now. So it's 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 a reference to like uh, James jumping into the holes that you'll see later in the game, but it's also a reference to entering different worlds because every time he jumps into the hole, he enters a different world, and also, uh, and that's also a reference to like the how the reality of this war this town, like it, it the reality shifts into different perspectives, different landscapes, uh, based on the uh power that's governing this town and so there was a hole here it's gone now you don't see a hole but when the game when the town changes uh you know there probably was a hole when the town transformed but now it transformed it's not there's no hole now i feel like i don't need the extra um extra chems in my body oh i see i see i see What did you major in again, Stu? I, it was something chemistry related, right? Biochemistry? Or was it just chemistry? I think it was something like chemistry related, you, told, you said. I forget. But yes, let's... Let's get some more health drinks before we go, and then we're gonna go to the Woodside Apartments, or Blue Creek Apartments, I forget. I need some more health, because I got, I got blasted in the face twice by those stupid... stupid monsters. Oh, here's the, here's the, where they, you can read the notes. There's a memo pad on the ground. I'm going to write of everything, I'm going to write everything that I've learned so far. Maybe that will help you out somehow. If you're reading this, I'm pro it probably means I'm already dead. The toy memo was on the ground. I saw those demons. They were there, I'm certain. But my friend says he didn't see anything. If that's true, does that mean that what I saw was an illusion? But whether that demon that ate human beings was real, or whether it was just some kind of hallucination that my mind dreamed up, one thing I know for sure is that I'm beyond all hope. Did you say anything to me? My AC kicked on for a second, I couldn't hear shit. I, I was asking if you majored in chemistry or biochemistry, I forgot what you majored in. It seems that they are attracted to light. That's why people who need light to see are their natural prey. They also react strongly to sound. If you want to go on living, you'd better be you'd be better off just sitting in the dark and staying quiet. But even that probably won't save you. Physics, but I also took biology. I see. If you're going to try to fight them, the most important thing is to relax. It's dangerous to fire a gun while you're all crazy with fear. Take good aim and then squeeze the trigger. And don't forget to finish them off. I think most of those creatures can be killed, even if they are tougher than people. You're not smart as people. Run away. Run away, 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 run away. I never really read the, those things until now. I mean, I, I kind of remember them from watching uh, Nub Zombie play this Nub Zombie play this game, but I forgot uh, what, what they what they said until now. Except for the runaway part. I kinda remember that. Man, with this 4K TV, you can see everything on this. You really can see everything on this 4K TV. Okay, now, I'm, now we're going to the uh, apartments. And then you're going to meet these... Uh, you're going to meet people. I'm not going to say who, but we'll see. It's funny, you read the text before the game capture shows it. Really? Interesting. It's probably delayed for a little bit.
garbage, no use for that. So, we're gonna enter the apartment complex. And let me see if there's any health for me to take. Because I haven't played this game in years. It's been at least since... It's been six years... Seven years since I played... Last played this game, I think. So it feels... No, 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 no. Yeah, it has been seven years. Because I last played the HD collection of Sound Hill 2. And it was alright. I mean, it could have been better, but... Yeah. It's... it's It wasn't like like amazingly HD. It was just okay HD. Hey, hey, uh, Baku. Hey, how's it going? You're done with uh, are you done with your stream? I just got off of work, so now I'm streaming. Um, I'm streaming Sun Hill too. But yeah, I, I if I wasn't working, I would I would have been watching you stream, but I had to go work today. Uh, today. Hey, Sue Sage. Oh, whoops. Is my if he if he hosted me is my did my host notification show up? I don't know if he did or not. I mean, it's okay if he didn't, but my host my little follow, my my event thing my event um, notifications aren't showing up for some reason. My like little event list thing, I don't know why. Don't worry, man. You come in to hang out when you want to. Yeah, thanks. Here we go. I need the map. Have you played any of the Silent Hill, any, any of the Silent Hill games, uh, Baku? Hey, Neville! Hey, finally came. Thanks for coming by, Neville. I'm... <laughs> I might need your I might need your help, Neville, because my I even though I played this game countless times, my memory still sucks when it whenever it comes to playing this game. So I know you're a, a pro at playing this game at uh, the uh, survival horror game. So I probably need your help, Neville, if if I do if I'm stuck. Hi, Baku. Hi, Sue Sage. Hi, Neville. Hey, Globe. Hey, Fubar. Hey, hey, Globe. Thank you for the follow. Nothing like watching coffee navigate the fog. Exactly, Globe. But yes, Nubble, thank you for coming by. So yes, um, hi, hi at chat, rip, no problem, Sue. Um, but yeah, Nubble, she's a she knows a lot about uh the sound the uh, about survival horror games. So she's um I've seen her play and she's a pro at them. So yeah, I'm. I'm just. You, you just came in at a good time, Neville. I. I just started playing. This, you know, of course, you know, because you know the, the apartment. What the apartments are the very beginning of the game anyway. Oh, here we go. Here's that part. But it's. I'm on the other side though, right? Can't, doesn't he, no, doesn't he, uh, James, uh, try to get the keys on this side? I don't think so. That, that dark light and stuff, lol. First time meeting Neville here. I've seen Baku, Globe, and Fubar. Globe, man, where are the Yakuza streams at? Oh, now my follower thing's showing up. Why did it not show up before? That's so, so weird. Or my, my, uh, what's it called? My event thing's showing up. Sorry I'm late. I'll try to help. It's been quite a while since I finished this one. No worries, Nubble. It, I'm, I'm just, I'm just glad that you, you came. That's all, that, I'm, that's, I'm just, I'm just glad. Doesn't matter if you came late or not. I'm just glad you just, you came at least. But yeah, I'm. But I'm also glad that everyone's everyone's here too. But yes, thanks everyone for coming by.
Oh man, I don't know if I'm gonna remember how to where to go. Oh shit, I'm already went this way. But I need to go downstairs and see if um if I'm supposed to go go through the downstairs floor first. I don't remember exactly. Let me go here. Oh, it's locked. You have to go upstairs anyway. But yes, how's your day been going so far, Nebel? Uh-oh. Oh, crap. Oh, yeah, I need to get the- I need to get the six-pack and shove it in here. God, those monsters are so scary. I, like- they can follow you into the rooms, and you, and it's it's kind of, it creeps me out. There's a there's a trash chute. There's some kind of strange garbage stuck in the hole. God, that guy's got that monster's approaching me. Oh shit. Uh, uh, get away from me! Uh, get away! Get away! Get away! Take that! No! You're not supposed to get back up. Ugh. Man, he's still he's so strong. You have to kick him to kill them. Kick him, James. Kick them. Uh, I don't think he's dead yet. There, there's the kick. It's been a rough one, haha. <laughs> oh, sorry to hear about that, Nebel. I gotta head out. Take it easy. Alright, see you later, Sue. Nini, nai nai, Sue. How dare. Look at big time streamer coffee not reading chat. I, hey, hey, hey. I'm doing the best that I can, Baku. You sh I'm doing the best that I can. Oh yeah, and then in the next hall, in the next hall, you'll actually get the, get the, um, flashlight or the gun. I don't remember which one. I think it's in this next hall you get the flashlight. Later, Sue Sage. I finished Yakuza, Baku. I need a break at the moment. Oh, here's the flashlight. I was right. Oh no! Get away from me! Oh crap, crap, crap. <laughs> Let me see if there's any health drinks first. Oh, shit. Well, I can just- Ah! Uh, get away from me! Get away from me! Get away from me. Oh, God. Oh, God. You know, that- Even though I've, I've like, played this game so many times, like, I haven't played this game in seven years, so... Like, it's scary having these monsters come after you, because I don't want to die and lose health. It's too dark. Yeah, I have a flashlight now, Logue. I think I'll just leave him alone. Okay, so... Oh, I'm going, I'm going the other way again. I'm going back the way I came. So... Oh, no, no, no! dead. <sighs> Globe man, but I didn't see it. It doesn't count. See? It, yeah, it doesn't count. Baku, it doesn't count. He has, he has to be, he has to be there for you to, for it to count as a, as you playing the game, Globe. Too bad. Oh crap. 
Oh no! You're lost, Baku. When's the last time you played this game, uh, Neville? How many years has it been since you played Sun Hill 2? There's nothing to do here. Oh, what's he looking at? What's he looking at? Oh, yes, can gun bullets. I got any more. How was uh tech uh og ogre uh tactics og is it tactics ogre or is it ogre battle? I think it was tactics ogre, right? How was tactics ogre, your session of tactics ogre, Baku? Oh jeez. Uh. <laughs> oh, here's more. Oh crap! Oh no! It's it's a monster with legs as uh for for arms. I got it on PC a while ago and beat it. Then mistaken tactics ogre and ogre battle. How dare! Wow, offended. Unfollow. Don't follow me, Baku. Oh no! I don't want you to unfollow me. Just because I mixed those two up and they're from the same company, they are from the same company at least. That's all I, that, I, I like. That much I do know. There's there's a newspaper on the ground, but there's nothing interesting written in it. Are they? Yeah, they're from. They're both from Quest. Hey, so Baku, I got you there. I actually looked up the company Quest last night, and I actually found out that Tactics Ogre and Ogre Battle are from the same company. So we had. So I need to unfollow you. That's right. You didn't even know that. Is it that cold outside? Uh, is it is it that cold in Texas? Yeah, I I didn't I I can't imagine Texas being this cold uh, in April, but it's still cold there. Hey, where's the? Where, aren't I supposed to get like a uh, six pack over here? I thought there's a six pack over here, right? Maybe I'm imagining it. And yet you cannot remember which one I am playing. That's true. <laughs> oh well. Okay, let's let's move on. I think it was. Hold on. Did I go in here already? It's all. I think it's locked. Okay, cool. It can. It can be in the morning still. Oh yeah. But yeah. LOL. Tactics Ogre is going great. It's a great game, and I recommend that to anyone. I really want to play it too, because if 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 you if I if, if I liked Final Fantasy Tactics, I'm definitely gonna like uh, Tactics Ogre. Ooh, Pyramid Head's not here yet. What time do you have to go to work, Neville? Hopefully not too early. Y'all can hear the game okay, right? It keeps the flip-flopping back and forth in Texas. It keeps flip-flopping back and forth in Texas. Quite annoying if you're like me and don't keep up with the weather. Oh, I see. Uh, about seven hours. Oh no! Yeah, if you really need to sleep, then yeah, you def then go to yeah def you definitely need to go to sleep if you have to. Uh, but yeah, you don't have to keep you don't have to stay up um, on account of me though. I'm just glad that he came to watch it for a little bit at least. A television. There's nothing unusual about it. It 
It looks like the lock is broken. I can't open it. But yeah, but oh yeah, Neville, uh, what do you think about my light, light, uh, smart light arrangement? Does it fit the mood of the game? Does it fit the mood of Sun Hill 2? If not, let me know what how what I need to change the lights to so I can fit the lights better. Tell me what lights I can change it to so I can so I can fits the fits the Sun Hill uh, 2 uh, ambiance and, and theme. Three needle stand of three different heights: the fat, the tall, and the thin. From slow to fast, they move to the right. Scott rests not on three, but fifteen. Oh, I remember this. Oh, God. Scott? Okay. I remember this stupid puzzle. Oh no, the Henry Mildred Scott puzzle. What's this? Okay, so Scott's at 15. This is, no, this, is, this should be easy. So it's basically, you know, 9 and the 10 and 15. I guess 15. I don't know which. Whatever. 9, 10, 15. I like it. Maybe green or yellowish colors. Would it be. More, would it fit would fit more it's a very brown game haha uh -huh. yeah it's really I don't know a perfect color for it so I'll just stick with this color scheme for now there's writing on the there's writing on the clock the scars from the past shall remove the nail that stops time okay will you push the clock no you need to change the time The clock has stopped at 4.27 and 15 seconds. The faceplate is closed. It is locked. I can't touch the needles of the clock like this. Alright. It's a very brown... Oh yeah, I already read that. So... Let's see. I need to find the... The... Needles. Or the, no, the, the key for the faceplate. I forgot where it was. I, I'll probably find it. I... I, I it's like, I think I have to leave the room. Yeah, I think I have to leave and then come back or something like that. You made your stream too good. Can't walk away. Oh, thanks a lot, Baku. So, I think I have to leave and then come back in, maybe? Nahaha, <laughs> should be fine, hopefully. Yeah, I think I have to get something else. I think I might have to go back, go up another floor. Oh, wait a minute. I might have to go talk to Laura. Wait a minute, what? Did I go in this room? Oh, wait, that's the room I just came out of. Okay, never mind. So. Oh, wait about what about this room? Okay, that one's locked. Okay, so. Oh man, I don't remember where I had to find the faceplate key. No. You are missing chat. I really think you should make your stream chat last longer. Oh yeah, I'm I'm gonna stay for a little. I'm gonna stream for a little bit longer. I have to, I do have to go to sleep soon, but I'm gonna stay for a little bit longer. But yes, thanks for coming by, everyone. You are missing chat. I'm I read everything. Don't quiet, Bubar. If, if, if Neville's late to work, it's your fault. You made your stream too good. Can't walk away. Haha, <laughs> I should be fine, hopefully. I really think you should make your stream chat last longer. Blah, blah, blah. Yup, he is totally missing chat. Fine, I missed a little bit. I missed a little bit. I, but I'm pretty good about reading chat, though. I try to make sure I read chat. Oh, I'm almost dead. I... Dang! There we go, now he's green. Yabi is still- okay, there we go. Dang, I, I, I lost a lot of health? I didn't even realize that. Okay, so... Have I- oh, I haven't been in 201 yet. Maybe that's because I didn't go to 201. Oh, 201 doesn't exist. 
Okay, so now I need to go... Okay, I need to go through this door. And then I need to go upstairs. But I saw that key and nothing happened when I saw the key, though. Laura's supposed to... You'll see what happens. You'll see what happens. You, you look at the key, and then you, you're supposed to actually... There we go, there we go. There's a key on the ground. Oh, now I know why. The reason why James wasn't uh, picking up the key before is because I didn't have the flashlight. Now that I have the flashlight, he sees the key and he makes a comment about it. Now he can make the comment about it and now you'll see what happens. So, there's a key on the ground on the other side of the bars. If I stretch my arm out, I just might be able to reach it. Will you pick it up? Duh. Yep, he's got to pay attention to what he is looking at. Yeah, I ran into a problem in SH3 because I didn't have my flashlight on once. Yeah, you know, that's a thing, Nubble. This game has such a great attention to detail. This is why I love the Sun Hill games. Yeah, you look around, you see, like, they put a lot of attention on the backgrounds. When you don't, when you walk around and you play the game for the first time, you don't pay attention to these, like, these graffiti and, and the posters and, and, like, the newspapers. You don't pay attention to them until you play the game, like, so many times, you actually pay attention to the, to the background. This team made, they put so much love and effort into these games. It's, it, and, and I didn't really appreciate, like, the detail until you actually play them, uh, years later. The games are so amazing, like... I, it's just, wow. There's just so many things I missed out. I missed. Even though I played this game countless times, there's still so many other details that you can miss. SH2 was great. Oh, so Fubar, you actually played uh, Sun Hill 2 before? You, play any of the, you played some of the Sun Hill games, Fubar? Yeah, I ran. Um, Heather couldn't find the bleach. Yeah, it was before items got all shiny. Haha. <laughs> that's true, that's true, Neville. You are not allowed to like 3D Fubar. Only 16 bits for you. I didn't know Fubar plays 3D games. That's interesting. Yeah, that's. <laughs> I've only played 1 through 4. Fubar, you've only played one through four. That's that's pretty much most of them, and pretty much all of the good Sun Hill games. Fubar, I most Sun Hill fans play the stuff one through play through one through four. Oh my God, Fubar! So you so you know a lot about this game then, Fubar? That's interesting. Well, three types of games always need attention; otherwise, he'd be dead. Well, oh, these types of games, yeah. I think at this point, I oh, not yet. His dead body doesn't show up. Let me go ahead, let me go ahead and leave again. How come he's not I don't see like What am I missing? I think I'm I think the the uh the six pack should be showing up over here now. But welcome back, Sue. I thought you left. I thought you left to go for like the rest of the night, Sue. I think the six pack shows up. I I, I could have sworn it shows up right here, but it doesn't. What am I missing? I don't know what I'm missing. Okay. I played this game so many times and I forget. That's crazy. Oh. Hmm. There should be some... Neville, do you remember what I'm supposed to be doing now? I don't remember, Neville. Crap, if you can tell me what to do, I don't remember. It's been so long. I, I'm, I'm kind of lost now. I thought I'd be, re be able to remember everything, but I don't. Oh, man. I don't remember. Neville, help me. 
<laughs> I like watching streams, but when my girl GF is around, I prefer to watch something else. Oh no, Neville. You lo you fooled us, Sue Sage. Welcome back. Your GF, like as in your Guardian Force? So whenever your Guardian Force is around, you have to watch something else? Man, that Guardian Force is really jealous. And, 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 and that Guardian Force <laughs> is, is, is uh, really needy, too. I think your Guardian Force has you by the balls, Sue. I just go floor by floor. Yeah, that's true, Neville. So, like, is your Guardian Force, like... Which one's your Guardian Force? Is it, you know, Shiva? <laughs> is it Siren? Or is it, uh... Let's see, what other girls are there? Or is it, um... Oh, I don't know if you played... Um, I don't know if I should tell the rest of the summons since you never haven't played Final Fantasy VIII before. Let's see. I think there was another, uh... There's another part to the apartment complex. I think there was. Oh yeah, I kind of remember now. Yeah, 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 yeah. I have to go, not here, but maybe I do have to go here. But there's no, but I can't, it's locked. I used to think GF was Guardian Force for a while, thanks to 8. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. I just... Hey, it's my choice. We watch stuff that isn't engaging. I bet it's Shiva. She, sounds, she seems really icy. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> so... Oh my god, I'm lost. I shouldn't be lost. I know what it, I've played this game so many times. How can I be lost? I know where to go. I used to. I know where to go. I, it's just that the the key the whole. Uh, I think I didn't. I'm not triggering the, triggering the right. Uh, I'm not triggering the right events. Maybe because I know you're supposed to find the keys somewhere, and I think you're supposed to see the dead body. But where- why isn't the dead body showing up? Let's go over here. I don't think there's anything here, but I, I remember not- there not being anything there. So... Let me think. Fubar, you, you played Silent Hill 1 to 2. What am I supposed to do here? Okay, I have the flashlight. I don't have the gun yet. I don't have the gun yet. And there's nothing up here because the, I think the only thing you need to do up on, on this third floor is to is to have Laura kick, kick away the key. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, here's the key. Oh, oh my God! No, just kidding, just kidding. I haven't been there yet. Just kidding. And get the handgun. Where's the handgun though? Is it in one of these doors? I need to get the handgun. I think maybe it's in one of these doors I, I missed. Oh yeah, it's 301, 301. Oh yeah, 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 301. I never went through 301, that's why. Here we go. Yes, 301, here's the gun. That's why, no wonder. It's a shopping cart, what is that doing here? Thank you, Harry Mason, and thanks for coming by my channel. I know there should be a little alleyway with a dumpster and a newspaper talking about Walter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, uh, the six-pack doesn't show up yet. I think the six-pack shows up after I get the handgun. See? When you don't explore fully enough... Like, I think when I first played this game, I was able to, able to figure this out pretty well. But since I am not playing the game in the, in the intended order, like, since I didn't go through this room... I didn't get the handgun, and then that's why it didn't trigger the rest of the events, like Pyramid Head show, showing up. So, you'll see right now, after I get the gun, you'll see Pyramid Head showing up. It looks like the lock is broken. I can't open it. The wall is pockmarked with gunshots. So, are there any handgun bullets? Any handgun bullets? No. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're. I know what you're talking about, Neville. But I think I have to get the, 
the six pack doesn't show up. Like, I know that hallway has the six pack, but it doesn't show up. I think it's because I don't have the handgun. Definitely know what you're talking about, uh, Neville. It looks like the block is broken. I can't open it. But yes, thank you for the for the hint, Harry Mason. And Harry Mason, have you been to Nub, Nub Zombie's channel before? I'm sure you have. Yeah, since James needs the gun in one of the pyramid head seats. Yeah, def that's right, exactly. Exactly, Nubble. Have you been to Nub Zombie's channel, uh, Harry Mason? And also, Neville, you need to go to Nub Zombie's channel. He's a, he is a, like, a Sant Hill, like, he's the ultimate Sant Hill fan. And you'll really love his channel if you listen, went to his streams. He knows a lot about Sant Hill. There we go. There's the scream. What was that? Some kind of noise north of here. Oh, man, you two need to go to, you two need to go to Nub Zombie's channel. Here we go. Ooh! Ooh! That's so creepy! Look at him just staring at you like that. Ooh! That is so... It never scared me before when I was a kid. But when you look at him... See, when you turn off the flashlight, you don't see the, 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 the red. But when you turn off the flashlight, it looks so creepy. God, he's just standing there. He's right there, and then, like, he's just... just even if he can't get to you... Even if the bars are in the way, even though and it's kind of weird that white there that there are bars in the first place, but even if the bars are in the way, it's just creepy because he's so weird looking. So you got me confused on what days are you streaming now, Coffee? Oh yeah, I subbed to him. Oh, that's cool. That's cool, uh, Neville. Um, Foo Bar. I usually stream on stream on the Sundays and Mondays, but I decided to go stream tonight just to see if I can actually handle streaming at night. So here's another, so from what Nub was telling me, uh, telling the whole stream, not me, but the whole, the whole channel, uh, this is actually another one of, uh, James's models, except it's modified to look like someone else, so every time you go, uh, see a dead, not every time, but a lot of times when you see a dead body, it's usually, it's sometimes James's model, except it's modified to look like someone else, so that room here usually creeps me out. Yeah, it does too. That's awesome that you sub to Nub Zombie. Now you get the key right here. Because he died. I guess the guy came in and put the key right there and he died from Pyramid Head. Oh my god, you really can't get the item until you turn on the flashlight. So you need the flashlight to get items. I never realized that until now. See, you learn a lot of you learn a lot of new things when every time you play the game. It's because I always had the flashlight on. That's why I was I was able always able to pick up items and, and notice the key, key that Laura kicked away kicked away from. So it's nine, ten, and fifteen. The clock has stopped at four twenty seven and fifteen seconds. The faceplate is closed and it's locked. I can't touch the needles of the clock like this, so it's nine ten. Lord's Mobile is better than Sound Hell 2. Changed my mind. Who's Lord's? What is Lord's Mobile? Mobile and hi, Major Elephant. Thanks for coming by. What do you? Um, how'd you find my channel, Major? I can't touch the needles of the clock like this. Well, I can use the the, the faceplate key. Let's see. Found a room 208. Oh, I need to go to 202 first. Now I need to go to 202. Okay, so let's go to 202. Where's 202? I think it's. Oh, all the way over there. Okay, so it's the last, second to last door on the left. That, okay, so now that I have the handgun, uh, I'll keep the plank for now, because I don't want to waste bullets. I used the key to- oh, I don't, even, I don't need to read that. Here we go. So we get to meet someone else in this room, I, I believe. This game is so ominous. 
what's that red light doing there, you know? It makes you wonder about these things. These games are all very systematic like that. You can usually find your way at by, ju by just combing through floors. Yeah, that's true, Neville. You really do. Because I believe, like, because in this, in, this in this kind of game, like, um, like with, I think getting certain items triggers certain events sometimes. There's nothing inside the cage. Why would there be wiring? Looks like the lock is broken. I can't open it. I need to stop reading that. It's the same thing. But why would there be wi wiring blocking you from entering that other part of the door? It makes me wonder. Like, this game's so creepy. Like, it, it's just menacing in a way. Where, you know, you're blocked off from going to these areas. And people, ha people actually, or the forces inside this town, actually place those nettings there. Or... The body of a dead butterfly is on the ground. There's nothing else of interest here. I can't even go to that. Ooh, here comes this part. It's too dark to tell for sure, but I think there's something on the other side of the hole. But why would you put your hand through it? Okay, James, we know what you're doing. I wouldn't put my fucking arm through that. I would get a stick and then and then pry out the whatever's in there. Why I would not put my arm through that. I would just get a stick. But this is James. He has he's weird. He James is such a derp. He is. He is. I got the clock key. Finally, so this is where you get the clock key. Man, I forgot. And he looks in it again. When you when you press X again, there's nothing in the hole anymore. Let's see. So let's go ahead and go back to the He definitely is a derp nubble. <coughs> now I can finally go get the clock key uh clock face plate to open up. And looks like Pyramid Head's gone. It's James. Except modified. He's dead. Who could have done this? Reaching in toilets and such? That's why I like him though. He just kind of fumbles his way through the plot, it seems like. He really does. Like, he's just stumbling through, and then like, he just does whatever. But that's the thing, I think that's the reason why he's such a normal guy, that he's so determined to find his wife, that he just does whatever he does all this the craziest shit just to find his wife and, you know and he goes you know he dig, digs his hand through toilets that are filled with shit he did he puts his hand through like the hole with something that grabbed him probably or touched him and he, he doesn't know what to do but he does it anyway because he wants to find it find the truth about his wife he's dead who could have done this Reaching in, uh, in such jumps down countless holes. Yeah, that too, that too. There's a newspaper here. It looks like it's very old. And then... Let's see. And he wades through sewers. And he... Um, what else? He even, like, tra uh, r runs through, like, a... A... a, a great, uh, what's it called? A, a morgue. And he goes through, like... All these crazy places, and he kills two pyramid head guys. He's damned. That's the short of it. Yeah, that too. Oh, I keep pressing the wrong button. 
There's a small clock at the end of the key. It was in the hole in the wall in room 202. Oh, I never noticed this until now. Oh my god, there's so many things I never paid attention to. Okay. Oh, I need, I need a... Whoops. Okay. Wrong buttons. Okay, I need to use the key. I use the clock key. Here we go. So I think it's like 9-10 or something like that. Yep, 9-10. It's a really easy puzzle. It's just, oh man, I can, I want to play Sun Hill 3 next, but unfortunately I don't have a copy of that game. I, I left it all the way back in my home in Houston, um, but I, I'm, once I come back to, uh, come back to visit Houston, I'm going to bring, get all my Sun Hill games. I'm going to get, I'm going to get all the rest of my, all the rest of my games. All my survival horror games, my JRPGs, all of my games, because I want to stream them. Definitely gonna play the rest of the Sound Hill games. On. I'm gonna stream the rest of the Sound Hill games that I have. I don't have all the Sound Hill games. I just have the ones that are important. <laughs> have you played Sound Hill Shattered Memories, uh, Nebel? That's the one I would be able to help out help with. So I played that and I and won the most. You know, Silent Hill Shattered Memories is, a, is actually a pretty decent game. It, even though it wasn't made by Teen Silent, I actually liked it. It's a decent game. It's not bad. Okay, so I'm supposed to go this way. Okay. Oh, okay. Alright, I'm on the other side now. Right. Yes, I thought Shattered Memories uh, was pretty good. Yeah, it's a decent game. Even Nub Zombie thinks so too. Let's see. Where am I at? Okay. Oh, I'm in the stair stairwell. And then um, let me go back out and let me go to the other side of this hall of the hall that I can access. Ooh, I'm on the other side. I'm Pyramid Head. Look at me, I'm Pyramid Head. <laughs> I I am heading out. All right. Um, thanks for coming. Um, I think it's a ch nice change to the series. So glad it came out on PS2. Okay, uh, Baku. Thanks for coming by, Baku. You have a good night, and I'm glad that you're enjoying the stream. I'm gonna head out. It's late. All right, later, Fubar. Thanks for coming out as well. Have a great stream, Copy. See you all later, LOL Fubar. Later, guys. All right, see you later, Fubar and, and, and Baku. Oh, what is he looking at? Why is he? Why is James looking at? Is he? No, he's not. But I can finally go downstairs. Let's see. Nee nee nine nine you two. But yeah, Nebel, just to make it easier for you to uh, watch me stream more Sound Hill games, um, if you want to, you, you don't have to, Nebel, but try. Uh, you can go ahead and follow me too, so that way you can watch more streams, uh, Sound Hill streams, because I'm definitely going to be uh, playing Sound Hill more. Uh, once uh, I mean, getting more, playing more survival horror games once I get the rest of my games out. You don't have to, but you, I mean, you don't have to if you don't want to. see. Oh, here we go.
Oh yeah, of course. When are you? When? Uh, when will you be streaming, Nubble? Oh, thanks for the stream, Nubble. I mean, thanks, thanks for the follow, Nubble. Well, yeah, but yeah, when will you? When? When? When do you? Uh, when will you be streaming? I don't know. Did the notification show up? I thought I already was following. No. Oh. In this cutscene, Nub supposedly uh, thinks that the Pyramid Head Pyramid Head's not raping the monsters, but I don't know. It's it's you really don't know what he's doing exactly, but I guess. It's kind of, kind of suggestive. Man, with this 4K TV, you can really see the detail details on this game, even if it's not HD. Man, I never see, like, I've never seen these details on this game until I played it on a 4K TV. It, well, the 4K TV doesn't make it 4K, but it really does bring out the details. I never even noticed this painting either. There's a painting hanging on the wall. It looks like a landscape of this area. Interesting. Why would James make a comment about these paintings? That's so interesting. I never noticed. I didn't know that he can make comments about this. Yeah, you can't really tell so much what's going on. Yeah, it is true. But with the, with this 4K TV, you really can see the details. There's a there's a painting hanging on the wall. It's some kind of strange landscape. Yeah, on the stream screen, it's really hard to see what's on what's on the what's on the walls or what's what's around you but on this 4k tv you really can see a lot of things very well there's a painting hanging on the wall oh he already says the same thing there's another derp moment for james yeah oh yeah 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 See that anything knows. I think but the best you can get nowadays is the PC version. Yeah, it, yeah, you can. Because Nub he usually plays the PC version. Not only because um, he can, it, the the details are very, um, the deep the there because the details are very sharp. Not only that, it's because he also can. Um, do it, he can run infinitely without getting tired in that in that version. And there's some weird ass glitches on it too. So let's see. I'm on the third. Oh, this is the room. With, this is the floor with the key. That's right. That's right. I can get the key now. Since someone messed up so horribly on the HD collection. Oh yeah, the HD collection. I have that too. Oh my god. It's it's okay. I mean, it's not the best HD collection. It's okay. Like it looks kind of HD-ish, but oh my god, it just looks kind of weird. And they messed up. And then like they had Mary Elizabeth McGlynn uh, direct the voicing for As on Hell Two. I was like, she voiced Maria, and it sounded so weird. Like you're not Maria, Mary El Elizabeth McGlynn. You'll never be Maria. What the? When you come back to this room, it makes some weird noises. 
What did I pick up? What did I just pick up, though? Oh. What did I pick up? Oh, the courtyard key. Key to the door, which leads from the west side stairway to the court hall to the courtyard. Did, is that what I picked up? That still makes me so mad. Yeah, she didn't get the tone right for Maria. I know. She's like, <laughs> she's probably thinking, oh, you know, I'm Maria. I can do, I can make whatever voice I want. And then it's like, she's probably, and then she's like, she's probably thinking, oh, I'm gonna sing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna add a musical segment since, since I'm, a, I'm a singer. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make Maria sing in this one segment. No, she doesn't really do that, but I'm just imagine she would. I mean, she was great. You know, as Claudia. Wasn't she Claudia? Right? Um, I think she was Claudia. I mean, she was, she was great singing in Silent Hill 3 and 4, but... Yeah, I don't think she's good as a <laughs> casting director. Yeah, she didn't get... Oh, I read that. Fire Escape Key. Got it, finally. Handgun bullets. Just a normal washing machine. There's nothing of interest. What is over here? Oh, crap. And there's... Oh, no. Okay. Oh, is there another? Okay, never mind. Just kidding. That's the washing machine. The singing is fine, but she kind of rubbed me the wrong way when she made fun of how the voices of the game were done. Really? What did she say? What did she say? The phone doesn't seem to work. Ah, uh, get away from me! Get away from me! Get away from me! Okay, I need to use the gun. She did the sing. Uh, she did a good job in RE Revelations too. Oh, what did she do? And uh, was she a voice in RE Revelations too, or did she was she a voice director or casting director for the voices? Crap! I can't see. Oh shit! She was Alex Westcar, I believe. Oh, oh, she was at a panel when the HD collection was um was coming out. Oh, you're at a convention. Oh, what which convention were you at, Nebel? Interesting. I didn't know she was Alex Wesker. Interesting. But yeah, she was making fun of how awkward the voicing was. For the original cast of Sun Hill 2 or the new cast of Sun Hill 2? Yeah, the original. What? The original cast is better than the. Oh, I see why. Because she wants. To, she she thinks that. Oh yeah, yeah that, that makes sense. Why would she make fun of the cast that uh, that she uh, did the uh, casting direct uh, direction for? Yeah, that would make sense. She would make. Of course, she would make the fun of the old cast because, you know, she 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 would prefer the new cast since she's the one who chose the people. But the old cast is the the old. The old cast is much better than the new cast, obviously, of course. What? I never noticed this. That's interesting. It looks creepy. It's like, look, they look like ghouls, these people.
Yeah, the, I saw a clip where she was mocking how Angela used to, used to speak. I love I, I love Angela's awkward mocking. I mean, I'm, I love Angela's awkward uh, speaking. It's, it's the, one of the best parts of the game. Like, whenever she says, Lost? Like, I love that. <laughs> Lost? So you see them too, or something like that. She says something like that. So you, and then she's just, she just sounds really funny. But I love it though. Eerie, yeah. I saw, um. Oh no. Oh shit! Man, I had perfect health. <laughs> I like her speech at the end, it makes sense. Yeah, it does. I just love, like... I love, um... I just feel bad for Angela. You know, you, you listen to her story, and... And I don't know. I don't know if she, she was justified in killing her whole family, even her mom. I think she killed her mom. Or maybe she she might have, because she said she might have or she might not have. Because she did say, I'm looking for my mama. But, but what if she killed her mom and then didn't and then forgot about it and then, and then she was like delusional and kept looking for her mom. I don't know. Like she, I mean, maybe it was just because I think maybe it might have been justifiable that she killed her brother and her father, but I don't know about her mom though, because her brother and her um, and her father they they did really awful things to her. I don't know. I don't know if I should uh, spoil. I don't know if 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 it's okay to spoil since I played since I myself have played this game already, but if other people are watching me and not playing and haven't played the game, should I still talk about the game? Or should I just not say anything? Even though I've played this game countless times. I don't know. I just kind of figured she got left with her dad and she he was abusive. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah, that makes sense. <coughs> hey, oh, here's a six-pack. I thought I was in the other... Um, on the other side of the building. Since, uh, there's that newspaper that tells you what happened, but stuff is blocked out. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So maybe her mom did leave. And then she was left with them. Oh, I always thought, I thought the, 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 um, six pack was over here. I thought it was over here on this, on this side of the apartments, but it's actually on this side. I forgot, man, my memory's pretty bad. But I can actually go through this side now. Since, oh yeah, I already read that, man. Which one is which Sun Hill is your fav most favorite again, Nibble? I like Sun. I I I personally like Sun Hill two and three, but Sun Hill two is probably I don't know. I think I like Sun Hill three. Uh, Sun, no, Sun Hill two the best. And then Sun Hill three comes second. It's in a weird spot. Uh, three was my personal fave. Yeah, three is one of my favorites too. But it, I think I like two more. But three is just as good. It's like a close second. Yeah. <coughs> Wait a minute. What am I doing here? I'm supposed to put the. The six pack in the garbage chute. That's right. I'm getting confused. Let's see. 
I keep pressing triangle for some reason. I don't know why. I, I keep thinking it's the item, <laughs> the item uh, button, but it's not. I have a lot of bullets. I can definitely just use some of them. So let's see. There we go. Full health. Okay. Six pack of canned juice. It was in the hallway on the first floor. Why would it be on the hallway? That's so random. Like you get these items that are like in these random places and then like you don't even know what to do with them but james picks up the item anyway and then like he brings it and then he he decides to place it in the garbage chute like i mean i know he like he saw the garbage and he's like hmm maybe i should put i get the garbage some uh down uh you know push through somehow but how would he know to actually think that the garbage was relevant to push down the chute and then how, um, um, but how would, he, why would he think that it's relevant? You know, it's weird. And then, and then somehow the six pack shows up out, out, out of nowhere. And then, and he, I guess because the Sanho gods placed it there for him to be guided, to be helped. So he pla they placed the six pack there to help James get to where he needs to be. I don't know, but whatever. I was really, it was, one was really, oh, Come on. One was really good though, so I have trouble making up which one is best. Haha. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't think to pick up or do a lot of the stuff he does. You really, you really wouldn't. It looks like the garbage stuck in the dust chute has fallen through. This says dragon, and then what else does it say? A C L T, or yeah, I think that's what it says. You really wouldn't think to, you know, do the things that he does. But he does it. I don't know. This is just the lo the logic of the developers, I guess. There's some. There's probably some sort of like logic behind all of this. Let me go. Can go ahead and get the uh, get the uh, garbage. Here we go. <clears throat> The garbage bag is torn, and the contents are strewn all over. I got a coin, old man. What's this? Some gossip magazine, eh? The, the police announced today that Walter Sullivan, who was arrested on the 18th of this month for the brutal murder of Billy Locane and his sister Miriam, committed suicide in his jail cell early on the morning of the 22nd. According to the police statement, Sullivan used a soup spoon to stab himself in the neck, severing his carotid, cor corroded artery. By the time the guard discovered him, Sullivan was dead from blood loss, the spoon buried two inches in his neck. An old schoolmate of Walter's, Sullivan's, from his hometown of Pleasant River said, he didn't look like the type of guy who would kill kids. But I do remember that just before they arrested him, he was blurting out all sorts of strange stuff like, he's trying to kill me, he's trying to punish me, the monster, the red devil. Forgive me, I did it, but it wasn't me. The schoolmate then added, I guess now that I think of it, he was kind of crazy. Oh, let's read it again. You can hear the game okay, right, Nubble? Can you hear the game okay? Let's see, so where do I go now? Oh yeah, I need to go through the courtyard. Okay. So I need to get the... Um, the coin. Yeah, I can hear it. Fine. Okay, that's good. That's good. I wonder if I lose health because I fell. No, I'm okay. Oh no! Fuck you. Health. 
Okay, so... Let's see. I think that's it for this area. Oh, right, right. I have to go this way. Oh, you think... Ooh, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so... I'm gonna have to... I think I might meet Angela in one of these rooms, right? I think so. See, he should be fine falling. I made him do that a lot at the hanging podium in the prism. <laughs> you're so you're so bad, Neville. Hey, what am I doing? Oh yeah, I need to reload. No, I don't need to reload. What does this say? Sh uh, sh you sure? I remember I he I remember her being near the I remember her being near the pool area. Oh. Now it's unlocked. What does this lead me to? Let's see. I guess the second floor. Um, let me go through these doors first. James, what is he looking at? Any more? Oh, he had more handgun bullets. We're gonna meet Angela soon. I guess it's fine to talk about the game then, because like, I I think for people, wait, hold on, for people who played the game already, it's okay. If I mean. But if you haven't played the game yet, then for the view, um, then you won't. Wouldn't want, okay, so if you play, if you haven't played the game yet, if you if you're the streamer who hasn't who hasn't played the game yet, you wouldn't want to spoil it for yourself or anybody. But if you are if you, if you already have played the game, then I guess and and you're streaming it again, you're streaming it, and you've already played the game before. I guess it would be okay to talk about the game. I don't know. A painting is displayed here. There's nothing of any particular interest. That was it? There's nothing else in here besides handgun bullets? I guess not. Okay, so next room. That's locked. There's another one. Okay, so... Oh, I need to go through 101. Yeah, 
if it's open. I can't open. Oh! You know who was in here. What the? Who could have done this? Ooh, that looks... They just slammed his body against the fridge door. It's fucked up. What are you looking at now, James? Oh, hell. I think it's fine. Uh, if you want, just kind of give a heads up before you say something if you want to make sure not to spoil anything. Oh, I see, I see. Cool. Here we go. Get to meet someone dear, near and dear to us. Let's see, get to meet his butt crack first. James. James Sunder. My name's James. Eddie. Eddie. Who's that dead guy in the kitchen? Who's that dead guy in the kitchen? I swear I didn't kill anybody. I swear I didn't kill anybody. You're not friends with that red pyramid thing. Red pyramid thing. I don't know what you're talking about. Honest. I did see some weird looking monsters. Well, I guess this place isn't too safe either. I guess this place what happened safe. here anyway? This place uh, what happened here anyway? I, I told you, I don't know. I'm not even from this town. Well, why don't you start puking? You know? You too, huh? Something just brought you here. Just brought you here. Whatever it is, I think you better get out of here soon. I think you better get out of here soon. All right. What about you? I'll leave as soon as I'm done here. I'll leave as soon as I'm done. Eddie, be careful. James, I, I, um. Eddie scared me the most. Why did he scare you, Neville? And you know what? Like, why would he just be puking? Like, you wouldn't, I mean, would you be puking because he saw a monster? Or did he kill someone? Because I, I remembered in, um, in the game, I mean, in, I remember reading like a plot analysis of this game, and they were explaining that it's possible that Eddie was puking because he murdered someone for the first time, and he probably murdered that guy in, that was in, that's in the refrigerator, and, um, in, and for people who are first-time murderers, they maybe they feel some guilt and they start puking. That's why they start. Uh, that's why they, you see Eddie vomiting. I don't know if that's true, but may, I mean, what other reason would he be would he be vomiting for? You know, so it just makes me wonder why he's vomiting. And is it because he killed that guy and he, he felt guilty? The wall is covered with football posters and meaningless graffiti. I could care less about either of them. It's actually I couldn't care less. But whatever, James, I forgive you. Guilt can get pretty overwhelming. Yeah. It I can see that. Oh man, I want to shoot him. 
Aw. Oh, I can't shoot Eddie. Eddie, are you okay? Eddie, yeah. are you okay? I guess. Eddie, yeah. are you okay? I guess. Eddie, yeah. are you okay? Eddie, yeah. are you okay? I guess. I know I get stressed yeah. out a lot, and sometimes that makes me physically ill. Yeah. But he's just frightening because his story is all too common, I guess. Oh, I see what you're saying because there's people out there who are just like him, you know, and they could look like ordinary people, and you never know if who to trust because he looks like an ordinary person, and he's a murderer, and that is scary because you know what? The scare it's not ghosts, it's not demons, it's not. You know, monsters that are scary. The scariest thing in this world are people, and they're everywhere. You know, and they, you can't trust them. You know, they, they may be nice to you, and, you know, but they are not showing their, sometimes they're not showing the true selves. So you're right, Nibble. It's not the scare, uh, it's, he's frightening because he's an ordinary person that can kill you. And that is scary because they do. He humans have a will where they think and they have agendas. They hold on. Can I go through this door? No, I haven't. Or did I? Humans are the scariest thing to me. Yeah, I agree. Maybe I have been through here. Oh, never mind, never. I haven't been here. Welcome to Silent Hill. Silent Hill, a quiet little lakeside, lakeside resort town. We're happy to have you. Take some time out of your busy schedules and enjoy a nice restful vacation here. I haven't... I don't think I've ever read this excerpt. This is the first time I've ever read it. Maybe I missed it. Out, out of all the times I've played this game? Row after row of quaint old houses, a gorgeous mountain landscape, and a lake which shows different sides of, of its beauty with the passing of the day, from sunrise to late afternoons to sunset. Silent Hill will move you and fill you with a feeling of deep peace. I hope your time here will be pleasant and your memories will be last will last forever. Editor, Roger Widmark. Whatever, Roger. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. It's like the scariest fuck. But yeah, I don't disagree with you with what you said, Neville. Demons can be pretty shitty. Okay, so now that door's unlocked. Okay, that's nice you now. So I need to go which floor should I go? Hmm. It's easy to miss some documents when you can't see them very well in the first place. It just looks like a detail on the counter. Exactly, that's true. Oh, right. I need to go I need to go to the third floor. That's right. I'm done with this whole floor. Now I need to go to the other side. Okay, it's all the way over here. Yep, it's all the way over here to this apartment complex. So I'm done. I'm going to go explore the rest of the uh, other apartment. Oh! 
just kidding. I have to go on the other side. Uh, shit. It was, um... Oh, right, right. I have to go... Was it? No, wait a minute. It just looks like... Okay, oh, whoops. How do I get to the other... Let me think. I don't think it's this floor, is it? No. It's, um... I don't exactly remember. I think I'll just have to go back to the, um... go downstairs and then is it this floor? Let's see. The one with uh, Yeah, it's this one. It's this. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's this floor. I remember. But why would it say Oh, you found it the third floor, Hardy. It's not saying you go to the third floor, Holly. You found it there. You do have to go this way. That's right. And then you have to go here. And then, let's see, go through this door, through this crack, and then, that piece is unsettling. Let's go here. And when you hear that sound, and right when you come here, I heard it's like a, a sound of a baby uh, screaming and a man screaming or something like that. Or a woman screaming, something like that. And I think it's that guy that got killed by Pyramid Head and is sitting on the couch. And then... I, no, 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 it's this way. It's this way. Here we go. Fire escape key. He says there's no fire escape outside the door. Maybe they knocked it down when they built the building next door. I think I can get into the building next door if I go through the window in front of me. To kind of move you in the right, yeah, I think that's what it, uh, it just, I think, yeah, I think that's what it was to, to kind of move you in the right direction. I see. There's an old broken down bed here. Oh, and this is the part where he... Ooh, here comes that part! It looks like there's something stuck inside the toilet. Will you take it out? Sure. Yum! I want some of that too. <laughs> Gross. It looks like a wallet. There's some kind of memo in it. 17, 18, let's see, so 17 right, 18 left, 11 right, 17, and then 20. So let me take a picture. Okay. And it's unnerving to find out that he was just killed right before you walked in. Yeah. Ugh, James, please. <laughs> As unnerving right before you walked in. Yeah, that is that is unnerving. Ooh. 
And it, yeah, it was there to steer you in the right direction. Yeah, that is unnerving. Like, and uh, he just died there, and he was just dead, and uh, like he he could he was alive just a few minutes ago, and he's just he you know he was, and he could have you know he's alive, you know he still looks like he's alive, but he's dead. You know, like you, the when you when you see a dead body, they look like they're just a lot. They're still alive, but they're dead because they just died. They're not. They don't look dead. They just look like they could be they could be living still that is creepy Ugh. thanks neville you made things more scarier i mean you made things more scary now i didn't ugh, i didn't i didn't even think about it until now Ugh. but yeah <laughs> that is pretty scary so 17 18 11 20 17 8, 17 right 18 left 11 right Right, left, right. Seventeen, right. Okay, so let's see what he says when I let's see. There's nothing else interesting. There's no point in looking anymore. It looks delicious. I bet you can make you can, that. Looks like a soup, like a chili soup. You can <laughs> gross. Someone like placed a bunch of chili in there in the toilet bowl and and uh, made some uh, some chili soup in there. And then that's they're like, oh, you know, <laughs> I don't have a pot. I'm gonna make it some chili, and then so it's not really poop. It's actually chili nibble. So I, I like, I want some of that chili too. Too bad it's too bad it's cold. Haha, <laughs> sorry. Haha, <laughs> I was about to say chili as well. <laughs> Seventeen. What was it? Seventeen, eighteen, eleven, twenty. I think. 17, 18, 11, 20, and then right, left, right. Okay, so 17, 18. So I have to go around twice? I don't know. 17, 18, Eleven. Nope, didn't work. Or maybe I have to go twice. I have to circle around twice. So, let's see. Seventeen. Twice again. And then 18. 17, 18. Left. Let's see. Maybe I have to go twice. And then 11. this puzzle. Let's see. 17, 18, 11, 20. Do I have to pay? Do I have to go around 17 twice or around 18 twice? Or maybe I have to press left. Press right. 17... So, something 18. Nothing. I don't know what I'm doing. Looks like these give me trouble in the real life. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm gonna look up the solution. I already played this game. Fuck it, I'm looking up the solution. I'm going to game facts. Because you know what? I probably... I solved it before. I just don't feel like looking and uh, figuring out the puzzle again. Let's see. Soft Hill 2. Okay. 
have, I have, I don't know how this puzzle works. I, for, I forgot. So, let's see, I guess I'll go look at CVX Freaks back. Let's see, combination lock. Safe combination. Okay, the wallet will give you some numbers and arrows. The number is the safe number, and the arrow points in the direction that the dial must be turned in to reach the number. On hard mode, okay, so yeah, I was doing it right. So 17, 18, 11, 20. But that doesn't work. Maybe I have to leave it and come back. 17, 18, and then so I went right to 18, and then left to 11. Right to 20. I don't think I did that right. So, what else am I supposed to be doing? Let's see. Yeah, it looks like these give me trouble in real life. Yeah, I know that feeling. So, let's see. Let me look at another fact. I'll look at Alex's fact. Combination. Okay. Start off by wandering in the damp bathroom and examining, examining the disgusting toilet. Find a memo with the numbers in it. The numbers represent a combination for a dial. An arrow will show you which way to turn it. Now in the living room you'll find a safe you need to open. Go to your bedroom and blah blah. When you finish you'll hear a clicking sound. Note that if you're playing on a harder difficulty they'll incorporate no Roman numerals like no. I don't know. So 17... Maybe I'm supposed to go around. 18... do this stupid puzzle. I don't- I, I think I'm doing it right. I'm turning it in the directions I'm supposed to be turning. Oh, wait a minute. No. Wait a minute. No, no, no. It's not that easy. Oh, I know. I have- I got it. You have to turn it in the direction that- like, if it's telling you going- okay, if it says 17, and then you turn to the right, and it says- no, 17, right, 18. It's not telling you you have to go this way. You have to go that way. You're turning this- way right. You have to turn right. You're not making it turn you're not making this go right. You have to turn it right. Oh I see. I see I see. Okay, I got it. So 17 18 11 Yes, I got it. Yay! I got... I got bullets to kill people with. Fine, okay, I figured it out. Yay! Yeah, the fact didn't really help me too much, but, I mean, I figured it out. There's gonna be another puzzle call coming up soon. just entered here. And then we're going to meet Angela soon. I dread going into any of these rooms and finding an enemy in here. In there. Ugh, it's so, like, I'm just dreading because, like, I don't want to get hit. I don't want to go through that door yet because I think it take it's a stairwell. It's locked. There's a note stuck on the door. Yeah, I know that feeling. The coin one? Yeah, I hate the coin one. 
There's a note stuck on the door. Dear Tim, I have to go run an errand, so I'm going out. I left the house key with Uncle David. You know where he lives, don't you? The key is in the room where near the first floor staircase. I'll be back as soon as I can, so please watch the place while I'm gone. What do you want? You know, and, uh, let's see. Oh, here's the map. Yay, map. Okay, let's go to the f first floor. What what appeals to you? Like, so Neville, like. What is what appeals you to these survival horror games? What do you like about them? What uh, what attracts you to them? Why why does the you know the foreboding feelings? Why does why does this the horror the scariness? Why does it all appeal? Why does all that appeal to you? To me, like if I find I like the game, I like survival horror games because it just I guess it presents a reality where things aren't normal and you know and it's and and it's it's just something you don't find in everyday life. And you, you just find you just you're just fascinated by how fucked up things are. I, and I think that's I think that's what appeals to me. I've just always found it morbidly interesting, I guess. I see. There's nothing in the bookshelf that looks like it would be of any use. Oh, the coin puzzle. Oh. There's something written on the desk. Three bright, co three bright coins and five holes B. Let me take a picture. I don't feel like looking through the stupid puzzle again and reading through this again. At one end sits the seducer of she. The wind from be behind the woman doth play, which is probably nothing. The formless one, no, lies furthest from they. The old one beside the serpent sits not. Tis to the prisoner's left that he doth rot. There's a line of five one-inch round depressions set into the table. Okay. Yeah, and I like being scared. Haha, <laughs> me too. Of course, yeah, that's the best part. Being scared. I I actually have Haunting Ground with me too, I think. I have Haunting Ground, so I... Have you played Haunting Ground before, Neville? I'm sure you have. That's a pretty good game too. Yes, so many times. I like that game too. It's and I have and have you played Clock Tower Three? Oh, health kit, first aid kit. I'm sure you played Clock Tower Three as well too. I like that game too. Okay. Okay then. <laughs> 
I watched a playthrough of Clock Tower 3. I, sh I need to show you Clock Tower 3. Um, I have the game. I think I have the. I don't have the game like with me physically, but I have the game on this hard drive. What are you looking at, James? Oh, is that health? It is handgun bullets. I think this is the one with Angela, a stuffed animal. It probably belonged to the kid that used to live here. Oh, I think this is the one with Angela, I think. I got it for a friend. I watched a playthrough. I got it for a friend, though. That's cool. It's a fun game. And then it's 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 weird. There's like a door on the left that's blocked out. I can't get the door open. And then to the to the right, there's like this door that's like right next to it. I wonder what kind of symbolism it re represents. I guess this maybe it's, this, this is Angela's room. This is Angela's like yeah you know, place that she's in, and maybe it represents like the her past that she wants to get forget. This is the door that's barred. That's that's why it's all creepy looking. The past that she wants to forget, and this is in her safe place. This is her safe place where she's like, she, this is the her um, the place where she wants to be more, wants to feel comfortable and at peace in. And this is all, and so it, she she goes into this into this room more what in a more uh, I guess she's more open to going to this room and and that's why it's it's open because you know it's safe. I don't know. Whatever. I'm 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 full of shit. <laughs> you know I'm full of shit, Neville. I'm I'm making up. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about, but I mean, it could it could be. Oh, it's you. Oh, it's you. Yeah, I'm James. Yeah. I'm James. Yeah. Angela. James. Angela. Okay. Angela. Angela. I don't know what you're planning, Angela. but there's always another way. But there's always another way. Really? Really? But I've never thought of that. You're the same as me. You're the same as me. It's easier just to run. It's easier just to run. It's easier just to run. Is what we deserve. No. I'm not like you. No. I'm not like you. No. Are you afraid? Are you afraid? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. Did you find your mother? It's okay. Did you find your mother? Not yet. She's not anywhere. She's Did she not live anywhere. in this apartment building? Did she live in this apartment building? I don't know. So, all you know is she lived in this town. All you know what did you say? What did you say? What did you say? How do you know that? Well, I just figured, because this is where you're looking for her. How else would I know? Yeah. Am I right? Oh, why is the so knife tired. already bloody? I'm so tired. I'm so, so tired. why did you come to this town anyway? So, why did you come to this town anyway? I never I'm noticed that until now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Did <sighs> did you find the Ooh, person you're looking for? It's already for? bloody. Not yet. Not yet. Her name's Mary. She's my wife's Mary. She's my wife. She's my wife. I, I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm sorry. 
Anyway, she's dead. Anyway, she's dead. I don't know why I think she's here. I don't know why I think she's here. She is dead. She is dead. Don't worry. I'm not crazy. At least I'm not crazy. I don't think so. At least I'm not crazy. I don't think so. I've got to find my mama. Should I go I with you? Find my mama. This Should town's dangerous. Now I know what you meant out there in the cemetery. Now I know I'll be okay by myself. Besides, I'd just slow you down. Besides, I'd just slow you down. Besides, what about that? What about that? Will you hold it for me? Sure. Hold it for me? No problem. If no problem. I kept it, I'm not sure what I might do. I'm not sure what I might do. I like the way she walks away. She's like she she's like she's like all like really tense, but then when she drops the knife and then she wa starts walking away, she like she's like walking all normally. <laughs> I thought that was really awkward. But like I don't remember her being that calm when she screamed. She was a lot more calmer than I thought. When I first played this game, I I could have I could have sworn she was like Ugh, she started screaming really loud, but she didn't scream that loud. Maybe it's just my memory being really bad. But let's see what he said. I want, um, that makes sense. Yeah, I never thought of that. That's the thing about these games. You can kind of take things as you want. Yeah, exactly. So, I, I think, because, like, an, another, maybe, you know, when, you, when you're a kid, you don't notice these things. Because you're, you're just a kid, you know, and you don't have experience to really look back, look back on the, the things you, you're playing, on the games you're playing with enough, you know, references or enough life experiences to understand what these people are going through. But when you start playing these games later on in life, you really get to notice details that you didn't really bother uh, noticing. And that's what's great about being older. You know, you really appreciate these details in these games and you notice, and yeah, you do notice, I, I noticed that little, you know, the doors being right next to each other and it just seems like it's like maybe it's part of An it's representing Angela's, you know, mind where you know she's blocking out. She this, uh, one part's boarded up, and I guess it's, it's uh, blocking out all. It, it's it's boarding up all those painful memories she's trying to repress. And the other door is where she's in that she's in a place where she wants to be safe. I guess I don't know, and that's why it's not boarded up. It's a safe. It's safe and it's calming. It, that, those are all the memories that are good for her. I guess. I don't know. Doesn't look like there's anything useful here. The painting is displayed here. There's nothing of particular interest. There are magazines on the floor. There's nothing unusual here. I didn't say anything about this. But then, you know what? This is one part of the game I never noticed until now. I never noticed about this this these, this photograph right here. Oh my god, I thought it was part of the like uh you know like the magazines. Maybe that's why I never noticed it. But if you actually go up to this photograph, I never noticed it until now. I mean, I never noticed it until Nub was play was uh was talking about it. When you go up to this photograph, a photo, and it shows these two uh, the the. Angela's family. I never. I, I played this game so many times. I never noticed these, these this photo laying down here. It's so cool. Like you notice all these different details about this game. Gives you a look into what people think about exactly. Yeah, it does. Like the developers, they they had really had an idea of what what they're they're going for and what they what kind of experiences they led to make this kind of game. I mean, it makes me wonder, like, the developers, they... they were like... How should I say it? Like, what kind of lives did these de developers lead to have to make this kind of game? You know, did they have troubled lives, or they, did they not have troubled lives? How, did, how would they know how to make this kind of game? You know? And then, so... 
I never knew about this photo until I saw Nub play this game and show it. It doesn't say anything else. I never saw this myself, that's neat. Oh really? That's cool. So that's this is new for both of us. Cause I think I don't think I've ever saw this photo um until um until Nub played it. I was like, wow, I didn't know that. And now that we're both seeing it for the uh, ourselves. There's no, there's any, yeah, whatever. No, there's, okay. So yeah, that's, that's a first for all of us. Okay, so let's see. Well, I have 110 bullets, I have enough. It can come from just knowing a person who has these types of thoughts or feelings. Yeah. That's true, that's true. You don't have to necessarily live through them, but you can know someone who does. Disorienting. Oh no! Okay, where am I supposed to go now? I have to go the other way. I might have to go to sleep soon. You probably have to go to sleep soon. Definitely have to go to sleep soon, too, Neville. I'll probably- I'll, once I reach the next safe spot, I'll probably have to end the stream. But I'm glad you came, Neville. So we can talk about these, these games. Let's see. You know what? I think I might just go, to, go back to that safe spot and just save. Because I'm gonna- I- I had I need to go to sleep too. Let's see, where's the safe spot? Oh no. I had a friend who was really into these games along with me and he passed on due to suicide, so this game really makes me think. Oh my god, I'm so sorry to hear about that, Neville. Yeah, I'm sorry to hear about that. I don't- I've never met- I never knew, knew anyone who committed suicide, but... Wow. Yeah, because, like, this kind of game, it really makes you wonder about why people go through these kind of things about having suicide and just, you know, the the the, the anguish and... You know the 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 pain that they go through it just makes you wonder, you know, what drives them to the point where they want to kill themselves. You know what? How much do you have to go through to kill yourself? But <coughs> it's just I don't know. It with mental health, you you really need to have a good support, um, good support group. You really need to have that 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 kind of feeling where you need to have that you know that people are going to be there for you and there are times when I felt depressed and I felt like you know I didn't feel like anyone was there there for me but I do now but yeah I, I see what you're saying Neville so all right I think it's 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 12 o'clock where I am it's almost 12 it's 11 59 and it's like probably like two o'clock where it's probably like one fifty nine where you are. It really makes it tough for the people around you. So I worry I might not have been there enough for something. Oh, don't say that, Nubble. I'm sure you have. It's just that I don't know. Maybe they just couldn't find an outlet for on um, that they could find like like you were there to support him, but maybe that friend 
couldn't find the outlet that he needed to keep on going you know on on um you're there to you know prevent you're there to prevent try to prevent him from you know commit uh from and um ending their life but i guess they're uh they even with that support they they have to find their outlet of trying to you know find a um way to keep move, like to i don't know i don't know how to explain it to find an outlet to get to actually make it to you know where they need to be motivated and find a solution to you know make more to make money to keep living or find someone who's who, who's a significant other i don't know yeah, he was out of state a lot in college, so I didn't know what he was getting into. I see, I see. So, I mean, I'm sure he's in a better place, whatever it is. But yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's it's 2 o'clock where you live, it's 12 o'clock where I am. I hope you have a good night, Neville. And thanks for coming by. Thanks for And, and thanks for coming by, anyone who's watching. So, I need to go to sleep, you need to go to sleep, everyone needs to go to sleep. But yeah, I'm, 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 I don't know if I'm going to be... I don't know if I'll stream tomorrow night, but I'll try. Maybe I'll stream this weekend. But yeah, um, this is it's pretty good. Uh, a solid. This is a solid stream so far. I like I like my setup. So yeah, thank you for playing. No, no problem. Thank you for coming by, Nubble. All right. So all right, I'm gonna go ahead and end the stream, and I might watch another person's channel after this because I'm I I'm I want to unwind and go to sleep. So y'all have a good night. I might stream tomorrow night and um, or maybe this weekend. So take care and good night and stay safe. And yeah, bye-bye.